Millions of Americans are watching this tonight. The monster tropical storm growing by the hour. The radar right behind me here churning off the coastline tonight and it could not come at a worse time. Hurricane warnings going up just as we come on the air tonight and just look at the view from space this evening. Arthur is 450 miles wide. Winds already gusting up to 80 miles an hour or more, and it's just the beginning. And with the 4th of July coming, families bracing for Arthur in North Carolina already declaring a state of emergency on the coastline, expected to get very hit hard. Many are boarding up windows tonight, and we do have team coverage here up and down the coast. But first, we want to get right to it. Meteorologist Ginger Z has been tracking this hour by hour. And Ginger, where is it right now? It is still well offshore of Florida, still about 400 miles away from the North Carolina coast that will be affected most. And at this hour, what we are most concerned about, David, would be those hurricane warnings. Even a mandatory evacuation just put into place for Hatteras Island. So you're seeing all the cities there, and the red is what we're really concerned about. 80-plus mile per hour gusts, definitely rough surf, and coastal floods. That's for tomorrow night and early Friday morning. But check this out. As we watch the path. This will happen overnight. This will likely become our first hurricane of the Atlantic season and you're watching it skirt by early sea Friday 2 a.m. on the Carolina coast and then really goes off to sea. So much of the East Coast is going to miss out on that. David, a big reason the water temperature. So you see the 80s and 90s. You need 80 degrees to fuel a hurricane. But check this out. As it goes to the 70s and 60s, it's going to kill it. Getting right down in there. We'll put it together in a future cast. This is how it's going to play out. It gets to North Carolina on shore midnight Friday. So early Friday morning. Then the cold front squeezes together and New York, parts of Washington DC will be rainy Friday morning, but drying out by Friday night. You know who's going to have a problem for Friday night? Connecticut to Boston. And we just learned as we came on the air that Boston has moved its fireworks up by a day. Shows you how widespread this is. Absolutely. All the way from the mid-Atlantic through New England, obviously in the southeast. All right, Ginger, thank you for leading us off here.